What's up guys, with our True Good Development. In this video, I'm installing a pedestal sink. I'm gonna keep it short, go over what I'm doing. Let's check it out. All right guys, this situation that I have is pretty tight in here, so that's why we decided to do a pedestal sink. Pedestal sink, if you're not familiar, comes with two parts. The pedestal, the sink. This is an Aquasource pedestal sink from Lowe's. First thing we've gotta do is we have a one and a half inch, you're always gonna have a one and a half inch drain pipe. You're gonna pick up is an S-trap. S-traps are usually the ones that come from the ground into your sink. This is why it's called an S-trap, because it looks like an S. A P-trap usually comes in from the wall, drops down and up. These bad boys are much thinner in diameter than the, C, than the PVC. So this will drop right in, and we don't want that we're gonna use an adapter, basically something like this with a, a threaded end, uh, male end, that's gonna go into this guy that comes with your S-trap. So make sure if you're doing this and you're gonna cut your pipe that you're gonna get one of these guys with a threaded end. This is a piece that I got from another job so what I'm gonna do is use a coupling or a union, something like this. It's one and a half inch, it is not threaded. It's smooth on both ends. And I'm gonna use my cement here for PVC to adjoin this guy with this guy, like this. Boom, and boom. All right guys, usually this comes in two parts, or you can buy them separate, but I usually get both. Protect the area that you're gonna do the work on. Clean up the parts that you're working with. I know these are already been cleaned. Hold it tight and count to 30. Repeat the same process for there. Next thing what I wanna do is assemble the pedestal sink just to get an idea of where I need to be in relation to my drain. From here, there's gonna be a tail pipe that usually comes with your faucet. So clearly we can see that we're pretty close to the opening here. We need to drop about six or eight inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this thing down. What you can do, the same thing with yours, is just gauge it and then you can go up and down just basically by moving this washer up. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this up. Now I got myself about five or six inches. I'm gonna leave it like this. The nice thing about these is obviously you can unscrew them and adjust them how you like. Next is I'm gonna install my faucet in here. It's always easier to do that before you go ahead and screw this sink into the wall. I'm gonna show you how I'm doing that and how I'm gonna measure that. We're gonna do the faucet, I'm gonna do that off camera, and then we'll get back to it. Got my faucet in, my drain tailpipe, and if you can see right there, then I'm gonna be right on the money where I need this. So, I like this height, I'm gonna secure everything, then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna bolt this sink to the wall. Quick tip, your S-trap does not have to just go this way. It could go around, this way, that way, this way, however you want it, as long as you have the trap in there. So don't think you just have to go like this and now your sink is gonna be way out. Also, this is a good time to secure your hoses before you push the sink back in. Just makes it easier. Next, you're gonna put the sink against the wall, make sure it's level, which in my case, of course, it isn't. So composite shims are gonna be your friend in this case. You don't wanna use the wood shims because obviously if there's water in the area, they might deteriorate, so this is your friend. We're gonna throw it down here and make sure we're level before we go underneath here and mark where I need to uh, drill my holes. I know I'm not gonna be hitting any studs here, so I'm using these toggle bolts. Once I'm level, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little screw and just get right underneath there with your screw and just push in, lift the sink out of the way. And you can see right here, I got 
my indicators. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill for my bolts. Drilled my holes. Now I'm going to thread my screw through the hole in here and then attach this to it because you can do it the other way. And notice how I added a washer here so this does not slip through the sink. So once you do this, you go ahead and attach this in. And then I'm gonna push this sink right in. This is gonna need some doing. Once you got your sink situated, you have your toggle bolts in, you screw them in with your fingers as much as you can. It's a tight, tight area there, so here is a tip for you. You're gonna get this situation going on, right? So what you'll need is a bit. You're gonna need one of these bad boys, a wrench. You're gonna put it together and go to town. This is the closest I could get. There you go. And that's all there to it, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and finalize putting in the faucet. I had to remove the supply hoses so I can get my wrench in there and tighten that sink to the wall. And I'm gonna go ahead and screw in my P-trap. I should be good to go. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. It's the only way to support it. I'll see you guys in the next one.